welcome to the conference. Uh, I'm Mike Jennings from the Department of Development Studies. Before I give my formal welcome, uh, as convener of the conference, I'm going to hand over to Laura Hammond, our Deputy Vice Chancellor of Research and Knowledge Exchange. Although far more importantly, from the perspective of the conference, she's a member of the Department of Development Studies and a past member of the Development Studies Association Council. Laura. Hi everyone, welcome. <clears throat> if you're coming in the door, just keep coming in, uh, taking a seat. If people are sitting on the edges of the aisles, if you can move in to allow people to take up seats, that would be great. Um, yeah, as Mike says, I'm really, really happy to welcome you to SOAS today, um, not just in my role as Deputy Vice Chancellor for Research, but uh, really more importantly, because development studies is my home field. Um, I've been for since 2007 here in the Development Studies Department. I'm an anthropologist by training, but I always found the interdisciplinarity of development studies and its commitment to um, using its intellectual endeavor for change to be a more comfortable spot for me. So I feel very much at home in this gathering, not least also because I sat, spent two terms on the DSA Council. Um, so it was really, I had a really nice chance to catch up with some council members last night. And I'll try to make as much of the conference as I can in the next couple of days. Um, just sort of wanted to, to start off with that, but also just to say, so as, as many of you may know, has a really long history of engagement with development studies. The department here is over 30 years old. We're not exactly sure how old it is because we have debates about when we actually started as a formal department. Before being a formal department, we were an interdisciplinary center. Um, uh, but we really pride ourselves on our contributions to research and to debates on some of the most important developmental challenges in the world today, including climate change, conflict, migration and displacement, labor precarity, urbanization, health and well-being, gender, racial and economic exclusion, and other, other kinds of areas. We're probably best known for our heterodox approach to a lot of what we do. Uh, within that, we have, and, and not just uh, solely in, in that vein, but we have many, many different perspectives. And I hope that you'll, uh, well, I know that you will be in the plenary here, be exposed to some of those perspectives already, but throughout the panels as well. Uh, we've got a lot of colleagues presenting, uh, including our PhD students. I think many, anybody here so as PhD students? Raise your hands, a few, uh, but you'll see them throughout the next days and hopefully they'll share some of their fantastic research that's going on uh, at the same time. This is also really an important time, I think. We're here a week before a general election here in the United Kingdom uh, in, in a year in which more countries in the world are have been going through general elections than at any other time in history. So there's massive, well, potentially political change going on. And I think that gives us a moment and an opportunity to think from our own discipline here about uh, the kinds of um, challenges and opportunities that that presents. So we have a, a, a possibility of contributing to and potentially changing, shaping the narratives on things like the rising populist narratives that promote exclusion and discrimination, the opportunities to shape the tra trajectory of work uh, to respond to the climate emergency, to shine a light on inequalities that emerge from unequal or misguided development, the opportunities to comment on the horrific uh, examples of war and, and genocide that are going on, not just in Gaza, but also in, in other places. Ethiopia is where I work, uh, and it's just a really matter of concern to me as well. So uh, a whole host of, of really important, very relevant topics that we are really well placed to contribute to the debates about to try to shape the directions that we go. I think, as I said, we've as a discipline, we've always been unapologetic about our desire to use our intellectual pursuits in the pursuit of a better world. And that's what's attracted me to this field and many of you, I assume, as well. Um, I really hope that this conference will be inspiring to you, will be regenerating at the end of what's been a very long academic year for many of us. Uh, and that you'll emerge from the conference with new alliances, friendships, uh, collaborations, and partnerships that will take you forward into the future. So really have a great conference. Uh, I hope to see some of you in and around over the next few days. I'll be coming and going as I can. Um, but yeah, have a great time. Uh, welcome to SOAS again. Thanks. Thanks, Laura. 
Uh, there's plenty of seats around. You don't have to make for the back uh, like you're an undergraduate student trying to stay away. OK, so here we are for Development Studies Association 2024. It's great to see you. Welcome to uh, the Department of Development, or sorry, the Development Studies Association Conference, which is hosted this year by the Department of Development Studies and the Department of Economics here at SOAS. And we're really glad to see so many people here. There are many more who are attending the conference as a whole uh, remotely. So hello as well to our uh, online participants. In fact, there are over 700 people. I think there's more than 500 people, something like 529 people here on campus uh, and another more than 200 uh, attending remotely. So it's, it's a fantastic uh, collective endeavor. Uh, we're set up, as you know, for three days of really interesting papers, discussions, both in the formal sessions and in those informal conversations that take place around the conference. Our theme this year, uh, as a reminder, is social justice and development in a polarising world. Uh, when we started thinking about this theme some 18 months ago, we wanted something that reflected both the work that is done in SOAS, in the departments of development studies and economics, but also across the whole institution, but which also highlighted the critical or the issues that we thought would be so critical uh, across the world uh, in terms of the debates and the challenges. And within that overall theme, we've got three strands. Firstly, rights and representation. Secondly, redistribution and restoration. And thirdly, reproduction and production. So as you'll see, the conference program is built around those three strands, but there's also lots of other things going on. Panels run by the study groups, book launches, etc. So please do have a, a careful look at that program to see all the things that are going on and what you can take part in. Alongside the panels and the roundtables, we're going to have what are going to be really interesting keynote speakers uh, built around the three themes of the conference. We're starting today with Professor Shirin Rai, uh, Professor Naomi Hussain will be speaking tomorrow, and then Professor Jimmy Adesina will be bringing us to a close uh, on Friday. As you may know, one of the things the DSA does is to award uh, prizes for the best master's dissertation in development studies and what? the best PhD in Development Studies, and we're really pleased that the winners of this year's prizes mm -hmm. are here. I don't know, are you here in this room? We've got, uh, yes, we have two, thank you. Um, uh, and they're going to be presenting uh, their work. On the so I sit on the panel that looks at them, and they're all of the submissions are fantastic. Uh, of course, our winners are highly committed, especially so. In terms of the Master's Prize, the winner, Anna Palmer Garcia, uh, wrote her uh, uh, dissertation on ideas on co-constructing notions of inclusion with deaf women in Colombia throughout cooperative inquiry. She'll be presenting her work on Thursday in panel P06, so that's the morning panel between 9 and 10.30. Uh, oh, yes. Our highly commended uh, master's uh, dissertation student, Meng Jun Huang, um, wrote uh, at ODID, who wrote her dissertation on pursuing freedom in Beijing's urban waste economy, desire becoming and loss of rural migrant waste workers in China, will be presenting her work on Friday in panel P15 in the afternoon session 3 to uh, 4.30. So well done to her as well. In terms of the PhD prize, the winner, Francesca Chu, uh, from the School of Global Development at UEA, wrote her thesis on transforming the outskirts, planning, property, and people in urban Myanmar. And she'll be presenting on Thursday, 27th of June, in panel P21, uh, between 4 p.m. and 5.30. So well done, Francesca. And our highly commended PhD thesis was by Anna Colla Miras, um, who wrote uh, from uh, the Development Policy and Practice at Open University. And she wrote her thesis on citizenship capabilities and instant messaging in Western Kenya, an intersectional approach. Unfortunately, she'll be attending uh, the conference uh, online. Uh, and you can find, so well done, uh, uh, Anna, as well. And you, you can find more details about their work uh, on the DSA conference website. It's it's fantastic, and we're really pleased to be able to do this. And it, it shows that the, the future of our discipline uh, is in safe hands when you see the quality of work that is being submitted uh, for this prize. So well done, everyone. Um, 
organizing a conference of this size, as I'm sure you would uh, uh, expect, is a huge amount of work. So there's quite a lot of thank yous uh, that I need to make. Firstly, thanks to SOAS for hosting us and for contributing uh, financially to help support Global South Scholars uh, in being able to come. I'd also like to thank my colleagues on the SOAS organizing committee. It's a huge amount of work in reviewing the panels and getting things set up, uh, and they all worked incredibly hard to make what is going to be a, a really successful conference. Uh, and thanks to, to colleagues in the wider departments as well who contributed in discussions around the theme uh, and in kind of publicizing this conference and attending and putting in papers. Uh, I've already mentioned our plenary speakers, but I would like to thank them in advance for their what I know are going to be interesting talks um, and all to all the presenters, all the discussants, uh, all the chairs and the conveners of the panel. That's what makes the conference. So thanks everyone for putting things in uh, and for putting together what is going to be a, a fantastic set of presentations. A huge thanks needs to go, as for every DSA conference, to our amazing Nomad IT team who effectively do all of the work. They put everything together. They make sure it runs smoothly. They send me and others emails to remind us of the things that we were supposed to do, which ha we haven't. It's a huge job. They do it so well. So the success of the conference is really to them. And not everyone from the team is here, but those that are. Uh, Christian, Carlotta, Alex, Trinu, James is behind the scenes. And, and a particular thanks to Winnie, with whom I've been working most closely. It's, it's an enormous effort and they do a fantastic job. Arwina Harding, who's here, is our DSA comms person and has been putting together on publicising and sending out information. And again, huge thanks. It's a, an immense task. Thanks, too, to our volunteers. Uh, I'm sure you'll have seen them already. If you haven't, they're easily spotable. Uh, if you have any problems, any issues, if you can't find a room, if you're not sure how something works, if you just want advice generally on where to go and what to do, look out for our volunteers. They'll be very happy to help. And thanks in advance for all the work that you're going to be doing over the next few days. Um, thanks also, of course, to Uma and the DSA Council uh, for all their work in supporting the conferences. It, it really is um, a collective effort. And I'm now going to pass over to the DSA President, Uma Kampampati, who's just going to say a few words. Thanks, Mike. Um, not a lot for me to say except welcome. This is, of course, as you know, the DSA 2024 conference. The conference is a big event in the DSA calendar. Uh, it's three days this time and a lot of activities around the conference. As Mike said, the theme this time is social justice and development uh, in a polarizing world. I think all of us are aware and know that the world is polarizing. We also are aware of the challenges that it raises for dialogue across, uh, across politics, across ideologies, across disciplinary boundaries even. What the DSA does and does very well is to bring people together to have these dialogues in what we hope is a safe space. And so I think I would I would like to thank SOAS for setting this up for us, um, for uh, giving us the opportunity. It's a fabulous um, program, so please do have a look at it. And there's a lot of it, so decide what you want to go to. And uh, uh, other than that, well, welcome everybody and uh, hope to see you around the conference over the next three days. Thank you. Before we finally get going, I'm just going to invite Indrajit Roy up, who's going to tell us about a new initiative. Thank you, Mike. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, welcome. Uh, thanks for this uh, chance to speak about uh, an issue that uh, we at the DSA care very strongly about. Uh, this year's theme is on social justice, and as part of the DSA's commitment to social justice, as well as broader questions of emancipation and equality, uh, several of us uh, have been having conversations around decolonizing development. Uh, you've all been part of uh, these conversations and have had very interesting and useful thoughts. Um, one of the suggestions that has come up has been to have a directory 
of uh, colleagues, scholars, experts on decolonization of development, because that term has come to mean so many things that it's almost become a buzzword. So what does it mean? What does it not mean? What sorts of boundaries can we draw around it? Um, is something that we're all very keen to sort of engage with. Um, and so uh, the DSAs uh, sort of started uh, a decolonizing development directory which is a place where we invite you uh, and those of you who consider yourselves experts, specialists, uh, people who'd like to share with others who may not know as much, but would like to know more uh, to register yourself. So that's the QR code. Uh, it leads to uh, sort of uh, the, the directory itself. Uh, these will be put up uh, in the brochures, uh, in the online brochures, et cetera, in case you wanted to go on there. Uh, look for people who speak on, who write about, who tell us more about uh, decolonization, uh, and also feel free to add yourself if you feel that you can contribute. Uh, this is really a way of collectively engaging and exploring questions of decolonization together, uh, rather than saying, oh, it's too complicated and we don't know what to do. Uh, and I think that's where I will end. Thank you so much, Mike. Thank you.